Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV, this is the Irish News Daily and we'll start off with the biggest talking point, Aaron Connolly has completed a loan move from Brighton to Hull, he spent the first half of the season at Venezia, no one really knows what happened after the um, under 21 playoff uh, against Israel, uh, he came in there with a good attitude and seemed to be doing alright and then um, going back to his club then for some reason uh, wasn't getting a look in really, uh, this talk, there was a change of manager and that messed him up. But um, Liam Rossini has taken a chance on him. He's worked with him previously at Brighton. He believes he can get a tune on him, as I said yesterday in my video. Um, a lot of fans are saying that this is Connolly's last chance to really make a name for himself. So if he can hopefully get back, get fit, get sharp and get among the goals, that uh, he can really take this chance and really revive his career and get back to the to the heights um, that he was at a couple of years ago when he was scoring the goals at Brighton against the likes of Spurs and so on in the Premier League. Um clearly has really good talent but it's about now him putting his ability and uh, talent to the sword now and, and really get putting in performances and uh, showing what he can do in front of goal and get him back to he used to be a devastating speedy striker you know I always go back to that game against Portugal where he ran them ragged so he has quality but he needs to show it there and um, the second talking point is Trevor Clark has joined Shamrock Rovers from Bristol Rovers Um. Stephen Bradley came out and basically uh, was absolutely delighted um, in speaking to Shamrock Rovers TV or Shamrock Rovers website if you're rather. So we got tr speaking to Trevor the last few weeks and we were speaking to the club as well and thankfully we came to an agreement. We're delighted to get him in. Obviously we know about Trevor's attributes from before before he left but I talk, I think now he's more a mature player and a better all round player we feel that his pace and athleticism definitely add to the team and to, and to the group we know his character and personality if you spend 10 minutes with Trevor now you see that he's more mature a more mature man than the one that has left us he's a different man and I believe better for that we're a different team to the one Trevor left as well so I think with both parties are a different state than what they were when Trevor left the club he's hungry to be successful and I think that's important when he was here he helped the group and the club at the start when he left we've been very successful Trevor wants to be part of the group that's successful and playing in Europe and obviously he'll have the opportunity here if he works hard and then Joey Barton came out and spoke about him as well he said he's grafted away and it's never worked out for him he's never got a run and if I'm honest he never got any luck with injuries there's definitely something in there he has something Trev his straight line speed is as good as anyone and he's aggressive. I just think he needs reg a regular rhythm of games. He needs to go and play 40 to 45 games and just get that feeling of playing week in, week out. He's a top lad, Trev, and he is well thought of in the group. But I think it is the right time for him to go and try his luck elsewhere or somewhere else. Um. So, yeah, Um. look, it seems as though... Trevor Clark, he's turned it around, well, he had turned it around at Bristol Rovers, having Barton initially coming out and giving out about him and giving out about sending his contract and basically not publicly kind of condemning Trevor Clark. Well, I've seen him in the League of Ireland, obviously a top talent, but um, never really kicked on in England for whatever reason. It seemed to be injuries and stuff like that, if you read into what uh, Barton has said. Um, but look, he's going back to Shamrock Rovers, a more mature player. He's only going to bolster their squad, and I think um, it makes sense. It's a loan deal, so he'll go back to uh, Bristol Rovers at the end of the season, more than likely. Um, then, in other League of Ireland news, uh, Ben Doherty has rejoined Derry City. It says there... On the independent.ie that the 25-year-old academy graduate spent three seasons at the Ryan McBride Brandywell Stadium before going on loan to Colerain in 2019. The midfielder then signed for Larne in 2021 but is back for his third spell with the candy stripes now as Rory Higgins. Side so looked look to close the gap on champions Shamrock Rovers and then... Joe Thompson and Michael, uh, Michael Glynn have gone the other way as part of the deal and will join Larne. So there you go. Um, other news in the League of Ireland is that Brian Murphy has retired at the age of 39. He's going to become the Waterford first team coach under Danny Searle. He, can, uh, he had a statement there and he said, After 23 years as a professional footballer, I now feel that it is the right time for me to retire from the game. 
that I have loved being a part of for all these years. Moving to Manchester as a 17 year old with no idea of what I was doing or where it might take me, I feel very privileged to have had a successful club career as well as the honour of representing my country at all levels. From the Premier League to the League of Ireland and everything in between, I have been extremely fortunate to have played at incredible clubs including Man City, Swansea City, Bohemian FC, Ipswich Town, QPR, Portsmouth FC and Cardiff City. And then to be able to finish my career for my hometown club, Waterford, has been a very special honour for me. Um, <clears throat> so there you go. Uh, really good goalkeeper, obviously, Brian Murphy, over the years. Uh, excellent, even when he came back for Waterford at that, ta- that time, when he first came back. Uh, I know it didn't really work out under Kevin Sheedy, but he was magnificent uh, the season before that. And, um, yeah, probably a, a, a bit... Um, underwhelming that season for him but what a great servant he's been uh, 39 years of age and he's going to bow out so yeah um uh, other league of ireland news um the irish examiner are reporting the cork city have announced the resigning of midfielder matt healy fr- from uh, ipswich town he'll spend the first half of the 2023 season on uh, cork city's books um from uh, ipswich having helped uh, Colin Healy's men get up last season. So um, that'll be an, a, a good one. He's come out and said, I'm very pleased to be back at City again. I really enjoyed last season. It was a great experience for me and I learned a lot. It was great to be able to be part of what was very memorable season for the club. These are exciting times now for the club going back into the Premier Division and I'm delighted to be part of it again. Then Cork boss Colin Healy had his say. He said Matt came in on loan last season and he did very well for us. He obviously got a few very good goals, but he also, he added a lot to the team besides that as well. He's a great lad around the place as well as being a good player and we are very pleased to have him on board again. We know the ability he has and I think he is a player who can get even better next season. And then former Shamrock Rovers player Andy Lyons could be in line to make his debut tomorrow against Nottingham Forest in the FA Cup with Callum Connolly suspended for Blackpool. Um... It seems as though the Blackpool manager, uh, Michael Appleton, has said since Andy has come in here, there's been a drastic change in him. I felt for him a little bit on the first couple of days when he first trained with us because he had two weeks off and he'd not done anything. And rightly so, because he's had a tough season over in Ireland and played a lot of football playing in Europe. He went away with his girlfriend for two weeks and then he was back in training with us. So I think it was a bit of a shock to the system the first few days. But over a period of time, he's acclimatised to that. His fitness levels have gone up. And he looks part of the group. January is an opportunity to reassess in various areas of the pitch. And that's what we'll do. So he was speaking about the possibility of Lions maybe playing against Nottingham Forest. Which would be a brilliant occasion for him to make his debut against a Premier League side. So yeah, that's been the Irish News Daily. Let us know your thoughts on any of those topics that I've covered in the comments. And I'll speak to you all soon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Take care.